I look for colors that speak and say something to me that make a statement. When people look at the picture, they either want to see what you've popped and what you want the eye to be drawn to first. And I do the same thing with makeup. I look at the face or I look at the character and I go, what is the first thing I want them to look at? I just love if it's a perfect cup of tea. It's like a golden brown. Ah, oh, that. A makeup designer creates the look of the characters for a film. We come up with the ideas and the concepts and how a character is going to look. I look at the totality of the person, uh, the hair, the skin tone, uh, who is this person going to be? So it's a subtlety and a slide of colors and details on a, on a person's face and body. I stumbled into it one day because I was with a friend of mine who said to me, let's put on a fashion show. And she said, but we have to hire a makeup artist. One of them said, do you want to see my portfolio? And as he was turning the pages, it was like a thunderbolt hit me. It was like, I didn't know you could do this. This, you do this. I've worked with everyone from Tom Cruise to Brad Pitt to Mike Myers, Sharon Stone, Penelope Cruz. Each one meant something to me. And so my aim was to choose films that made me feel like I was doing something creative and also each time something different. I don't look at the whole face and go, okay, I need to do the eyes, then I go to the lips, then I go to... I may do very little. I may just make the skin look the feature. I may just do things like that, just subtleties, details, little nuances. Makeup artists, they're constantly on your skin, on your body, so Michelle is uh, so delicate and so sensitive. You played a character in a film that was distasteful, let's say. Mm -hmm. I might choose colors that are in the complete op opposite spectrum oh, to make you look in discord and a little bit off. Whereas if I wanted you to look appealing and gorgeous, I would choose warm, uplifting colors, colors that bring life and life's blood into you. I just love that moment where you're the woman, you're this person. That's the magic moment. I always see a film as being like a big concert and everybody plays an instrument and it all has to be in total harmony together. In the end, hopefully we have something where it is telling a story. <laughs>